Today is Mother's Day, and we all come from a mother in some way. I grew up without parents, and I was put up for adoption in foster homes at the age of three. My mother was 16 when she had me and on drugs, so she wasn't available to be a mother to me. And in a lot of ways, I'm glad she wasn't because I probably would have been a lot worse off had I would have been under her care. Uh, the person I know as grandma isn't actually my biological grandma. She bought my mom on the black market. So when my mom was born, my biological grandma wasn't able to afford to take care of my mother. So she sold the baby, my mom, to who I know as grandma. And um, my grandma was a little bit older than the normal mom to, to daughter ratio. So when my mother wasn't available to me and I was a youngster, my grandmother, who I know as grandma, was like 70 years old and not able to take care of me. And I was put up for adoption in foster homes. So I used to say, I didn't know that I said this, but I was told that I said, my mom's coming back for me. And she never did. So I know how important it is to have a mother in your life. And I'd just like to give a shout out to all the mothers in my life that I acquired along the way and that gave me a chance and saw me as a worthy human and cared about me and looked out for me in some way. Thank you, all the mothers in my life. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I met Nancy when I was in fifth grade, so nine, 10 years old. She was my DARE officer, drug abuse resistance education. And she had heard my story, how I lived in foster homes and didn't have parents. And she invited me to go to this luncheon and meet with the chief of police out of all of her students and all of her schools. Um, you know, hopefully in, in some way to encourage me to maybe steer clear of some future encounters that I might have had with drugs. And I didn't see Nancy after elementary school for a number of years until I was 13. And I was arrested for marijuana possession. And I was walking into the West Valley police station in Los Angeles. And she happened to be working that day and happened to look over and see me. And when I was walking in, they brought me into the booking room and she came over and asked me what happened. I told her and then, uh, you know, I went to juvenile hall, I went to placement. And when you're in placement, they try to rehabilitate you instead of just throwing away the key and locking you up. So kids, if you do good, you're able to go home on the weekends with your family. But since I didn't have a family, I didn't have anywhere to go to. Uh, Nancy got in contact with my social worker and started letting me go home with her on the weekends. And I got to see how a real family was and how she had, you know, two kids and there was a loving environment, you know, for her family. Something that I was never exposed to growing up. I got out on my own and I was, you know, working two jobs and selling weed on the side. And I didn't really contact her because I was doing crime and she was an officer. So we kind of didn't talk for a while. But when I got married and was doing good, I contacted her and let her know how I was doing. And then unfortunately, I got divorced and was doing bad. And so I didn't contact her for a while. But uh, in the last several years, um, I call her my mama Nancy. <laughs> I can't imagine how my life would have been without her seeing me as a worthy human and giving me that that hand when I needed it. Um, I love you, Mama Nancy. Thank you for everything that you've given me. 
I'm really blessed to have you in my life. Um, <laughs> it's just amazing how you just happen to be working that day and just happen to look over and see me. And that you just have that kind heart. Thank you so much. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. I met Deidre when I was 16 and I was already emancipated and on my own. And she adopted my younger brother, her daughter, Simone. Shout out to my sister, Simone. Went to school with my brother and heard our story and they decided to adopt him. Since I was already on my own, I wasn't really looking for a mother, but Deidre always invited me to their family functions. Um, whether it be Christmas or Thanksgiving or other holiday celebrations, I was always invited. When I joined the Marines, they took care of my kitty. And I moved away, so I didn't come around that much. But when I got divorced and moved back to L.A., I was uh, struggling and... Deidre again invited me to their family functions and and always made sure that I knew that I was cared about at any time I needed a hand, whether it be 20 bucks for gas till next week or whatever it was, Deidre always lent me a hand and she let me come around her family and be a part of it. I love you, Deidre, I love the Simeon family. Thank you very much for a guy that came up from nothing with nobody. It's nice to know that I have somewhere where I can go when I really need it. Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Thank you for everything. I met Jamie when I was about six years old. She was my social worker. When you're in foster homes, you get a social worker assigned to your case. And she was there as my social worker all the way up until the age of 16 when I graduated uh, and emancipated and got on my own. I even remember her coming to my first apartment to inspect it to see if it was okay that she approves my emancipation. And I didn't see her for a good, probably 25 years after that. You know, she was my social worker for 10 years. And then when you get out of foster care, you don't really keep in contact with your social worker. And it wasn't until I got divorced and I was looking for a therapist because I was going through some trauma and I wanted to talk about some things and I needed a therapist to talk about some things with. And so I looked in the phone book and saw Jamie. I was like, is that the Jamie that I know? So I called and left a message. And when I heard back from her, she was extremely excited. We hadn't heard from each other in so long. And it was the Jamie that I knew that was my social worker. It's crazy how life comes back around like that. So I started going to her for therapy. And since then, um, She's been in my life as just a wonderful person that I can look to and um, I just appreciate her for everything she's done and been in my life and I love you, Jamie. I thank you for everything. Happy Mother's Day. I met Don when I was in fifth grade. So again, about nine or 10 years old and Don was my fifth grade teacher and Nancy was my dare officer in that class. So they knew my story, where I came from, uh, not having parents and living in a foster home. I didn't see Don after I got out of fifth grade until I was again 13 and I was going home to weekend visits with Nancy and Nancy decided to contact Don and tell her that I was in this placement and that she was allowing me to come home with her on visits. And Don 
offered the same thing and said, well, I would love to have him come home with me on visits as well. So Dawn started letting me come home with her on visits. So one weekend I'd go home with Dawn on a visit. And if I was good on the next weekend, I would get to go home with Nancy on a visit. So I got to be exposed to Dawn's family. She had two children as well. Um, and I got to see how Dawn had a loving environment for her children. And we went to Yosemite and had, uh, you know, like a vacation, you know, that, you know, I, I didn't get much of that. So we got to, I got to go on trips and we went to Pismo beach and, you know, drove up the coast to San Francisco and I'll never forget those times that I got. I was so lucky that Don cared enough to invite me to be with her family. So shout out to Don. Uh, I haven't seen you since probably I was 16 years old. I think that was the last time I saw you, 15 maybe. Uh, I recently talked to Don, uh, but I haven't had a chance to get up to Northern California, and with COVID, it just wasn't a good time. But um, shout out to Don. I love you. Thanks for being in my life as a mother figure. Happy Mother's Day.